I'm Minori Sakita. I'm from Washington, D.C., and I've been dancing for 24 years and professionally for 10 years. My parents have a sushi store in Bethesda, Maryland, and one of the customers, when I was like three, they gave my parents a tutu just as a present for me, and they were like, oh, we should use this. So they put me into classes. I really didn't like it until I was about 12. I think the reason why I didn't quit was because I was kind of good at it for like, a five-year-old, you know, like I could understand like how to skip. Like I was like the first one to to skip in my class and I was like, oh, I got this. <laughs> Around 12, I started the stuff at the Kennedy Center. I got to do Mozartiana with New York City Ballet and Chinese in Pennsylvania's Nutcracker. And I think those were at the same time. And I remember this moment, I did an arabesque and there was the chandelier and the lights and the thousands of people. And in that moment, I was like, this is really cool. And I remember in that moment, like my mindset completely changed. And I was like, I want to do this forever. I trained at Maryland Youth Ballet until I was 15 years old. The school is very intense for a school that's not connected to a ballet company. All of my teachers had a huge influence on me, I think in different ways. The founder of the school, Tensia Fonseca, she was very supportive of me and she saw something in my dancing and I think that gave me confidence when I was younger and it pushed me because I always wanted to impress her and she was hard to impress. And then all the other teachers, I think they gave importance to character and musicality and arms, not just the technique. And that's also something that made me fall in love with dance and it's stuck with me till now. Ballet is so important because it's not just about the body, it's about your heart and how you can show the musicality with what you have. If I could make them feel something, that is important because that's what I always remember as a kid, like going to the Kennedy Center, seeing the professionals, like I still remember which performances those were and which dancers those were. I'm in a transitional phase right now where I'm going from a classical ballet company to a contemporary ballet company. And during the past few years, I realized that I enjoy myself more on stage when I'm doing contemporary neoclassical works than the classical classicals. I used to be scared of doing socks pieces or flat shoes because I didn't think that I had what it takes to do it because I didn't really train that way. But when I did kiss, I realized I felt real and very just myself on stage and I hadn't felt that way in a long time. With classical ballet, sometimes I feel a lot of pressure and I feel like it's kind of like I'm in a box and I can't budge too much. But with contemporary, I'm starting to feel freedom and I want to expand more in that. So I think that the live music thing is amazing. Like what's important to me is the feeling and the musicality of dance and when there's live music it emphasizes that even more because since it's live it's not going to be the same every day and the dancer is not going to be the same every day and then like playing together creating something together every day that's different and it's real i try to improv like two minutes a day at least one of the ones that i've been enjoying is um home with you by fka twigs and the other that I just like to hop around with is Vroom Vroom by Charlie XCX. <laughs> Thank you so much for supporting Chamber Dance Project. It's allowed me to come back home and perform for the first time since being a professional. It's an amazing place for all artists to collaborate and create we couldn't do it without you.